how to do auscultation of the heart or cardiovascular system. How many areas are there? Four. Now earlier in the older textbook they wrote four areas. And now recently one more area is added. Okay, so there are five areas. Now, what are the name of those five areas? This is a very important question. Now, listen carefully. First is apex or mitral area. Now, do you know where is the mitral area? Where? In adult, it is present in the fifth intercostal space, okay, at the midclavicular line, okay, or slightly inside it. Now, where is the fifth intercostal space? How do I find fifth intercostal space? Who can answer me? Which intercostal space is fifth here? How do I know? Okay, see here, this is clavicle. See this. Yes or no? This is clavicle. Now, this is suprasternal notch. Okay. So this just below the clavicle, look at this area. This area is called sternal angle. Here. And external angle, at external angle, the second rib is attached. So space below the second rib is what? This is space, is second intercostal space. space. This one. Okay. So after I find the second, this is third intercostal space, this is fourth intercostal space. And this is fifth intercostal space. In other other you know way, if this patient is healthy and in a male patient, you know, fifth intercostal space is present below the nipple. But please do not give a lot of importance to this because if the patient is obese or overweight, you know, uh, it is not correct. And in female, it is not correct at all. Okay, but in a healthy male, you can roughly have that idea. You know. It is below the nipple, but we want to see you. How do you find the fifth intercostal space? So let me repeat again. Okay. So anyone can feel the external angle or angle of Lewis. Below than that is second intercostal space, third intercostal space, fourth intercostal space, and the fifth intercostal space. Now here, so this is clavicle. This is the midclavicular line. So see this. Apex is here. How do you feel it? You use your palm like this. Put the palm like this, okay? And you need to feel the apex. This is the way. Now when you find it, when you find it, you know the impulse. Now you need to use your finger and feel it very nicely. This is the way. So this is mitral area or apex. Now second is called tricuspid area. Where is the tricuspid area? Where is it? It is present in the lower left sternal border. So see this, this is the sternum bone. So this is the lower left sternal border, isn't it? Yes. So it is actually present on fifth intercostal space on the left side of the sternum, right here, this area. Clear? Now what is the third area? After this, which is the third area? It is aortic area. Where is the aortic area? Now you have to come to the second intercostal space on the right side of the sternum, right edge of the sternum, right here, this area, this area. Now pulmonary area is second intercostal space on the left edge of the sternum, here. Only one area is left, that is Urbs point. So see this, this is the tricuspid area, this is the pulmonary area. So it is present in between them, right here. It is present in the third intercostal space on left side of the sternum. Okay. So what are the five areas? See there, I am going to show you the five areas again. Which area is this? Apex. Apex or mitral area. Okay. Which area is this? Tricuspid area. area. Also called as lower left sternal border. This is aortic area. This is pulmonary area. This is Urbs point. See this? This is so necessary, dear students. Please give a lot of focus to this, you know.